We are learning more tonight about a Thanksgiving Day murder in Newman Lake. The victim, a mother of two, who was also raising her niece and nephew. Good evening. Thanks for joining us. I'm Nadine Woodward. This is 30-year-old Tina Stewart, the victim. Her boyfriend, 29-year-old Nicholas Holden, now charged with second-degree murder. And today, he faced a judge. Our Hawk Hammer was there. Joins us now in Hawk. You spoke with some of the family members, too. Well, Nadine, they were tearing up in court. They say there are just no words to express the pain of Tina's loss. They say she had a heart of gold. She did die on Thanksgiving, and court documents say it was at the hands of her significant other. Tiny Tina the Tornado. That was how she was known to her family and closest friends. Our lives will never be the same. The 30-year-old had a lot of interests, but they all revolved around kids. She was something special when it came to working with kids. She could walk into a room of 50 screaming kids and five minutes later having them all sit down coloring and reading books. Family members say in her career working at a daycare, her generosity and enthusiasm were unbounded. She may have weighed 95 pounds, but her heart weighed a million pounds. And that she was taken too early. No family should ever have to go through this. Court documents say it all happened as they were celebrating Thanksgiving. An argument between Tina and her boyfriend of two years, Nicholas Holden, broke out. According to court docs, later in the night it turned physical. And though the fighting wound down and the couple went to sleep, sheriff's detectives say she died as a result of that night's beating. We can't celebrate Thanksgiving no more. Not in the way we did. It won't happen. We can't. How do you, how do you celebrate Thanksgiving? Today, 29-year-old Nicholas Holden appeared in district court charged with second-degree murder. A judge set his bond at $1 million. And though Tina's family is able to find solace in each other as they celebrate her life and mourn her loss, they have a message. Domestic violence, it's got to stop. People speak up. Speak up. Speak up for her. Speak up for the kids that are left behind. Tina not only leaves behind her own two children, but the niece and nephew she had been caring for as well. Speaking with the family members, uh, Tina was also the vice president of the PTA at Brown Elementary. Uh, and speaking with the principal there, she says she impacted a lot of people's lives. The school has brought in counselors for students and staff as they mourn as well. Reporting live, I'm Hawk Hammer, KXLY4 News. Thank you, Hawk.